the best part about the holidays is getting to spend them with your family and friends. But if you ask me, the most fun part is decorating the house together. To get into the holiday season, my grandma and I made some festive light up wreaths. And we'll show you how you can make your own. Now let's get cracking on these decorations. We bought holiday wreath kits made by Ashlyn. They come with some greenery, pine cones, and other festive decorations you could put on wreaths. At first, we didn't think they provided enough. You know, that, that kit just doesn't give you enough leaves. I ended up with a small gap and now I have to undo the whole half of it. To, it's just... Have to come down here and check it out. But with help from my grandma, we made it work. You just have to plan out a mock arrangement on top of the wreath first to make sure everything is spaced out evenly. If you don't want to put the greenery on yourself, you can buy a wreath that already has it attached, just like this one. If you're sticking with the kit, Take a few pieces of greenery and try to stick some of the stems into the wreath at an angle. Using 22 gauge floral wire, slide it under the wreath and up and around the greenery. Leave about four inches of excess wire at the start. Then wrap it around the wreath until you have about two inches left. At the back of the wreath, weave the leftover wire through a few branches to create some tension. This will be one of our anchors to hold all of the greenery tight in place. With the next set of greenery, only wrap the wire around that stack. I like to wrap it around about three to five times to know it's secure. If you want, you can also add decorations as you put the greenery in. Slip your coil picks and pine cones under that stack's wire. Try to hide the sticks by weaving them into the wreath's branches. Take the next stack of greenery and repeat those steps until you've made it around the whole wreath. If at any point you want to add more to a section, you could always slip it under the wire later. I like the little red things you got in there, the squirrely thing. When you're done with the last stack, Cut the end of the wire so that you have about five inches of excess. Wrap it around the wreath until you have about three inches left. On the back side, weave the wire between a few branches to create that same tension like from our first anchor point. If you'd like to put a phrase or a word in the center of your wreath, there are two options of what you could use. First are form wreaths. These are metal and shaped to fit in the center of your wreath. Second, there are wooden word signs. Those can be tricky to tie to wreaths. They're also usually unfinished wood, so you'd have to spray paint it whatever color you'd like. Center your phrase or word and tie it to the wreath like how we worked on the greenery before. Have some excess wire at the start, then wrap it around the wreath a couple of times, and then weave that excess wire through some of the wreath's branches to anchor it. For the wooden phrases and words, the easiest places to anchor them are through loops. But if there aren't any, you'll have to find creative ways to tie them down or use hot glue. With the wreath's preliminary decorations done, it's time to light things up. We went with a leaf garland light from Ashland. It helped make the wreath fuller and added a color scheme. If you have regular holiday lights with green cords, then you can get away with putting them in front. You'll just have to make sure you tie the battery pack to the back. Place the battery pack at the bottom of the wreath. Wrap the wire around the battery pack's cord and around the wreath a few times. Weave the excess through a few branches. And don't worry about the battery pack showing right now. Put this here when I do the last You can always hide that later on. Yeah, I'm gonna hide that later on, so. Wrap the wire around the rest of your lights the same way we did the greenery. When you've made your way back around, cut the wire with some excess. Wrap it around the wreath a couple of times, and then weave it between a few branches for the other anchor point. 
Back to the battery pack, wrap the wire around it about five to six times, covering its entire length. Then wrap the wire at an angle to hold the sides in place. Weave it through a few branches to anchor it. Now we get to add the finishing touches with some more decorations. For this wreath, we wanted to add a little more gold and red to the front. So we put in some gold fern first. If you're using that kind of decoration too, all you have to do is slide them under the existing wire that's already there. And don't be afraid to put as much as you'd like. Trust in your creative instincts. Or at least your grandma's. Might be too much. That's, I don't think it's too much. I think another one should go over there. Don't be stingy. Push that one up there so we can see it's sort of connecting. Just a couple of red berries in between wouldn't be bad. The other kind of decoration we used to get a hint of red was a small pack of round glitter ornaments that had a bunch of different sizes. If you can't find round glitter ornaments in the color you want, you can always make your own. For another how-to, my grandma and I made a bunch of personalized glitter ornaments. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out. These small round glitter ornaments are very easy to add to your wreath. Use a hot glue gun to attach them to the greenery. That looks very festive. It does. To hang your wreath, you can use a metal wreath door hanger. But if you have a door like us that you don't want to scratch or there's no gap on top, maybe you could try this. We put a nail at the back of our door and then tied a fishing line going to the top and sides. We wrapped the fishing line around the wreath a few times and tied a couple of knots at the back. This kept it centered on the door. This simple wreath design was actually my grandma's favorite that we made together before she passed away. And it's funny because there wasn't much work to be done. The greenery was already on it. She was a riot, but she had an eye for detail and she loved working on holiday decorations with us, especially our glitter ornaments. If you want to make more holiday decorations and memories, be sure to check that out. And if you're looking for more how-tos, subscribe to our channel. If you could get them started for me, I wouldn't mind. I know. Here you go. Are you all, I'm, I'm using my nails and everything. And you peel it off like there's no tomorrow. I just use my thumb.